clouds and a high temperature of 35. And of course, Tom LeMay will have complete updates beginning tomorrow morning. Blair? Thank you, Dave. People in our region love nostalgia, and that's why tonight's 48 hours spotlighting stars of the past was so special. The show got us thinking about local celebrities from years gone by, and tonight, News 3's Stephanie Stahl caught up with two of them, Wee Willie Weber and Yuki's favorite, Pick Sand. Don't go far away, he come back every day. It was her trademark goodbye song. Jane Norman is still singing and playing the piano, 26 years after her famed TV show Pick Sand left the airwaves. Have you missed it? Oh, sure, sure. Wouldn't you? I think so. Um, you move on and you do other things, but that was such... Such a delicious time in my life. The show was a kiddie staple in the 60s. Jane, a kindergarten teacher, enchanted a generation with her Peter Pan-like character. It was fanciful, and you don't get too much of that nowadays. Nowadays, Jane is busy with several projects. A Christmas music tape for adults will be out in November, and she created Tickety Ted, a bedtime series. So don't go far away. Another Philadelphia favorite, Bill Weber, Wee Willie. He's been a fixture on TV and radio since the mid-50s. His children Children's shows included Breakfast Time, Wee Willie Weber's colorful cartoon club, and there was the quiz show, Tug of War. Oh, I've gone on to good things, and uh, I've, you know, I, I told you I have a grandson. We do, my wife and I, and my wife and I are both healthy, and oh, I can't complain at all. Life has been very good to us. Weber still does a nostalgia show on the radio and has a wholesale travel company. Over the years, he's watched some dramatic changes on TV and in children's programming. My um, grandson, uh, he enjoys watching Barney. No, they're fine, and he enjoys watching the shows, but uh, I'd like to see a live host on, because it's something that kids can relate to. Now, both Wee Willie and Pixan say the one children's show they both really admire is Sesame Street. We should add one more name here. When we talk about broadcasting pioneers in Philadelphia, Sally Starr, who is still very active in our area. And Larry, I think uh, over the years you undoubtedly came across some of these folks. Well, I didn't work with Pixan. I wanted to work with Wee Willie Weber, but he was much too tall. <laughs> he <laughs> a, is tall, that's for he's sure. He's a great guy. And coming up next, Yuki Washington has memories. He appeared on the Pixan. That didn't appear. Watch no, the Pixan appear. program sure at the age of eight or so, nine. Yeah, I can't remember if I was at the Heston or Lee School, but yeah, I was there. Weren't you Lorenzo? No, I was not Lorenzo. Oh, you remember? Oh, <laughs> see, we're going back now. You might have to ask your parents about that one. But okay. anyway, on a serious note, we're talking sports. Yeah, boxer Tommy Morrison talks about life with HIV in an emotional press conference. Plus, LaSalle takes on number one UMass. Many words.